Good morning to bye everybody. Here in the Middle East next week is Eid al-Adha, which, uh, which is the Feast of Sacrifice. It's, uh, it's an Islamic holiday that uh, sort of remembers um, Abraham's uh, sacrifice of his son, uh, Ishmael slash Isaac. Um, and we're going to be going on a very special holiday. We, we're getting out of here and uh, going to a place that's very near and dear to my heart. Uh, a place that I've mentioned a couple of times in my writing and on, in videos, I think. Um, and that is the Republic of Georgia. Uh, I haven't been there for a couple of years. Um, I lived there a few years ago as a teacher. I was teaching the, the Georgian police force and teaching the public schools on the, um, the TLG program. It's called Teach and Learn in Georgia. I don't know if they're still running that program. Uh, but it was great. It was really good at the time. And the other thing I was doing was, uh, was Georgian immersion classes. I was actually taking intensive classes every day, almost every day, uh, in a place called Rostavi. And uh, I, got, I, got quite, I was actually quite good at Georgian by the time I left there. Not as good as I should have been, not as good as I wanted to have been, but I actually picked it up and I was communicating quite well in Georgian before I left. Um, so I've always wanted to go back there and, uh, and reactivate it and, and maintain it and get it and improve my Georgian because it's such a... Georgian is such an amazing language, it's such a unique language. There's nothing like it anywhere. It's not related to anything. Well, there's some conjecture about it being related to some languages, but it's, it's very, very unique. The way it's written, it's, everything about it is just you won't find another language that's similar to it. Um, and it, it which, pro, which presents some challenges because it makes the language a little bit tough to, to get into in, initially, um, just because it has no familiarity. And there are some borrowed words, um, there are even some borrowed Arabic words in Georgian, uh, but it's, it's very unique. And I've, wanted, I've really wanted to get my proficiency level up in it. Uh, so this is going to be really great. Next week, I'm just making this video just to let you know that I'm really excited, I'm really pumped about going and that you should visit as well. It's such an amazing part of the world. It, um, the way I describe it to people is that Georgia is very much like, uh, it's, it's very similar to Italy. The, the climate, the terrain, uh, it looks like Italy, but imagine sort of going to Italy a couple of hundred years ago because some parts of it are just so undeveloped and so untouched. Um, it's, it's just natural beauty everywhere. It's incredible. So if you ever wanted to go to a place like Northern Italy with all the Alps and everything, but you're more interested in just the nature side of things, uh, I really encourage you to go to Georgia. It's so much cheaper and you'll be getting the same kind of climate, same kind of terrain uh, for much, much cheaper. And there's, and there's a great wine culture there as well. So next week I'm going to try and put together some, some video and show you what it's like there. I'm going to try and get some uh, footage uh, while I'm there of, of the culture and, and the place and the language as well if I can and uh, put a video together. So really pumped about that. I'm, I just wanted to share that with you. Can't wait. So, uh, Nakhvandis.